Hi there. Now, if you've been watching the previous videos in the series, you'll know that uh, I've been working with y equals mx plus c, the form of a straight line, where m is the gradient and c is the y-intercept. Now, in this exercise, the aim is to work out what the equation of each of these lines are. And I'll run through the first two examples and leave you to try the remaining four. So let's start with this first one here then. We know it's going to have the form y equals, okay, so just start by putting that down. And then we've got m times x, m being the gradient. So what we do is we pick a nice point, I would suggest the point on the y-axis, say this one here, minus 1, and then for every 1 across, see what happens to y. And you can see that y goes up by 2 units. For every 1 across, y increases by 2 units. So the gradient is positive 2. So we've got y equals 2x. And then we've got plus c, and c is the y-intercept. And you can see that the graph went through minus 1 here on the y-axis. So the y-intercept is minus 1. So if we add minus 1, you're just going to get minus 1 there. And you can check that it's right. All you've got to do is take any value of x. Let's say we take x is 2, for instance. If we do 2 times 2 is 4, take 1 is 3. So when x is 2, y is 3. And you can check it out here. Look, when x is 2, you can see y is 3. OK, let's move on to this one. Now, again, it's going to have the form y equals mx plus c, m being the gradient. So if I start where it crosses the y-axis, say at 2, I can see that for 1 across... Ah, the y value goes down by some value. So it's going to be a negative gradient. y is decreasing as we increase the x value by one unit. Now it's not so easy to see what that is. It looks like it possibly is half a unit down. But we can see if we go two units across, y decreases by one. 2 units across, y decreases by 1. So in that proportion then, for every 1 unit across, y goes down by half a unit. 1 across, half a unit down. 1 across, half a unit down, and so on. So what we've got here is y equals minus 1 half x. And then we've got plus c, the y-intercept. And that clearly is 2. So it's going to be y equals minus a half x then plus 2. You could write this as 2 minus a half x. It's not going to change the equation of the straight line. And again, just check this out. Look, if you say take x to be 4, if you do minus a half times 4, you're going to get minus 2. And minus 2 plus 2 would be 0. So when x is 4, y will turn out to be 0. And that's clearly the case here. Check it out with some other points from x going from minus 4 to 4. And you'll see you should get the corresponding y values that are displayed on this line. OK, well, I did say that I'll leave you to try the remaining four. So have a go at these. Just give you a moment to pause the video. When you come back, we'll run through the solutions. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. So let's look at this one here. If we say take this point on the y-axis here at minus 2, I notice that for 1 across, y rises by 1, 2, 3. For 1 across, y rises 1, 2, 3. So the gradient is positive 3. So we've got y equals 3x, and then the y-intercept is minus 2. So it's y equals 3x minus 2. For this one here, this one's got a negative gradient. And I can see that if we start at the origin here, then for every 1 across, y decreases by 2 units. 1 across, y goes down by 2 units. So it's going to be y equals minus 2x. 
The y-intercept though is zero. So I could put plus zero on the end, but it's best just left as y equals minus two x. Here's another one that has a negative gradient. Looking at this one, I'll start here and I can see that if we look at minus three here, for one unit across, it goes down by one unit. You don't have to start always, by the way, on the y-axis. You can start anywhere on the line. Let's start from here, for instance. You'll notice one across, y decreases by one. As we increase x one unit, y goes down by one. So therefore, what we've got is y equals minus 1x, or just simply minus x. And then the y-intercept is minus 3. So it's y equals minus x, minus 3. And for the last one here, this one is going to be then y equals. As for the gradient, I'll just start at this point here where it crosses the y-axis at 1. I notice that for one across, it doesn't rise clearly a nice unit here. Let's go two across, two units across, still not risen to a nice unit. But if I go one, two, three units across, I can see y is risen by one. If I go back here at minus three, we can see that by going one, two, three units across, y rises by one. So what we've got then, for one unit across, this must rise one third of a unit. So the gradient then is positive a third. Y equals a third X then. And the Y intercept is one, so that's plus one. Okay, so hope that's given you an idea of how to do these types of questions. Just based on then Y equals MX plus C.